and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. My name is Rebecca and just take a moment now to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already so that you can keep up to date with all of my videos and tutorials. But this one I'm going to be showing you my whips that I'm working on at the moment. One of which is completely finished and I've also got a little unboxing to do as well at the end. So first and foremost this is a blanket that you've seen sneak peeks of over the last couple of weeks and it's getting to the point and it's getting to the point now sorry I'm just laughing because my little boy's in the next room being quiet um, <laughs> so this is how the blanket is looking now you can see it's much much bigger than it was before and I've probably got maybe half a ball to add what's up Ewan? <laughs> so I've probably got another half ball to add to this and then it will be time for the border but I'm really happy with how this one's working up it's really bright and it's got that beautiful sheen to it and yeah I was going to work on this and finish it this week but then I noticed that the yarn is actually unavailable at the moment from Ice Yarns but I thought I'd hold back on releasing the pattern until you could actually get hold of the yarn. So this one will be filmed and released ready for when the yarn is back in stock but if it's back in stock before the video release then obviously I'll let you know so that you can have your yarn ready to go. So yeah I'm really loving how this colour is working up. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So this is the Ice Yarn Picasso Rainbow and <laughs> I'm super glamorous assistant here and I just love the way it's working up. It's so bright and it's almost like zigzaggy. I'm really happy with how it's gone so far. Mm. Okay thanks. So that is that one and then you'll, if you remember I recently told you about these hat kits which were available from Siobhan's Crafts. Now the first round of these actually sold out really really quickly but I wanted you to know that they are being restocked and not only are they being restocked there is also another colourway going to be available for you to choose from. So there will be this original colourway and then there's a new colourway as well which will be, they will both be released in her shop update on the 18th of October. So this, like I say, this is the original colourway. So the new shade, I will pop a picture in here somewhere because it's absolutely amazing. It's like a bubblegummy, unicorny, all kinds of pastel goodness. So if you remember in the hat kit, you've got everything you needed to make a hat. And then I was going to be releasing the pattern. To use the hat kit for. So this is the hat. Now you can obviously use it with the brim folded up or you can have it with the brim down. It's completely up to you. And I decided to use the mohair just for the main body of the hat and then use the brim just with the DK on its own purely because the meterage that you get with the mohair is slightly less so I didn't want to run out but I think it looks really bright and beautiful and obviously if I just come up close I'm hoping you can see that fuzziness and softness that you get with the mohair added in and then if I turn this inside out you can see I've added a button so that the pom-pom is removable for washing. Now I do actually also like the underside of the hat, I think that looks really nice too but yeah this is going to be the pattern but obviously you can use the hat kit to make absolutely any hat that you want but I just wanted to release a pattern specifically for that kit and this is this is it so you've got the beautiful ridges so it's really textured and it's so cozy and so warm I've been wearing it around the house like a crazy person so that is the hat that's coming up and then I just got this delivered about half an hour ago and I started opening it only intending to snip the top layer 
but I actually snipped all the way through to the yarn so that was really silly of me but I will show you anyway a little sneaky peek so this is from Snufflebean and I've got some yarn that I've never used oh my gosh it's so soft so let me just get out these because these are all the same so I wanted to try the Signet Anti-Pilling DK Baby Yarn and I'm just going to say right now it is so 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 soft it's absolutely beautiful actually really nice and I don't know whether you can see it, but again, it's got that really soft sheen to it. So obviously this is just a plain cream. That's the name of the shade. It's just cream. And I bought four balls of this because I want to do a really classic, neutral baby blanket. So I wanted something quite vintagey, quite classical. And I really wanted to try this yarn for it, so I thought this would work really, really nicely. And yeah, that is going to be coming quite soon. And it literally will just be a, a classic, simple, vintagey baby blanket. So I'm really looking forward to getting cracking on that one using this yarn. I will leave obviously links to Siobhan's Crafts and to Snufflebean down in the description so that you can have a look at these yarns for yourself. So that's the Signet Pure Baby yarn. And then finally, I did a video a couple of weeks ago with the, oh, it's popped off, the yarn, the Northern Lights yarn. So I used a pink one and I made a, a super long skinny scarf. And I wanted to make something using some more autumnal sort of shades. So I've gone for this one, which is shade NL5. And I've literally got three balls of this. It's all the same, all, all the little things have popped off. But I've got three, all the same. I don't know if I'm going to need three of these, but I want to make a sort of pocket shawl. Now I know they're all the rage at the minute and everyone seems to be making them and releasing patterns and tutorials for them. So if you, I can't decide whether to just use a pattern that's out there already and if you think that's a good idea then maybe leave a link to one of your favourite patterns down in the description box and I can check them out and I might use one of those. Or if you think I should come up with my own simple pocket shawl design then let me know what you think on that as well. And I may well try and um, get one of those done. So, I'd, like I say, there's so many of them at the minute. It's, the market is quite saturated with pocket shawls at the moment because everyone seems to be doing them. So, I want to make this as a Christmas present. So, yeah, let me know if you've got any favourites. Link them in the description for it in the comments for me, and I can check them out. Or if you think I should just make my own and then upload a video about that then again let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. So I've got three balls, I don't think I'd necessarily need three for a pocket shawl but I might so I thought I'd rather have too much and then make something with anything that's left over than run out and be cursing. So yeah they're absolutely beautiful autumnal shades in this cake. I cannot wait to get cracking on those. I think they're absolutely beautiful. So that is, like I say, the James Seabread Northern Lights. And I've got three of those beauties to get working on. I apologise for the light in the video today. I know it's not particularly great. It's absolutely bucketing down outside and it's, yeah, there's not a, an ounce of sunshine to be had today. So I'm having to use all electric lights, which aren't necessarily the best for good lighting. Well, that's it for this video. I will see you for the hat tutorial, hopefully next week, maybe Wednesday, or depending on time frame, maybe at a push the Saturday, but I'm hoping it'll be done for Wednesday. And then as soon as the ice yarn is back in stock, I will be releasing the pattern uh, and tutorial for the rainbow iris blanket. And then we've got the beautiful vintage classic baby blanket to look forward to. 
I'm probably going to have about 27,000 projects on the go over the next couple of weeks but I'm hoping I'll be able to share all of those things with you and I've rabbited on for far too long now so I think I'll leave it there and see you again very soon. Bye for now.